Hello, today I come with a new tutorial and this tutorial is about install Jet Backup with cPanel uh, or WSM and configure it uh, with Dropbox. It's quite easy. So first prepare your server. I mean you have to have your uh, root login uh, and uh, make sure that uh, it is enabled. So you see here is the host name and here is the username is uh, root. Uh, you have to put it root and there is the password then you have to log in. Uh, with your server you see I have, I have already logged in so if your uh, server uh, is not uh, root enabled then you have to make sure this command I mean sudo acu uh, then uh, a space then uh, to minus sign then uh, you can do another thing uh, after root login then you can enable uh, nano etc ss uh, in ss to config from config you have to permit uh, root login you, you see if you uh, I mean if you edit this file I mean configuration file then you will see something like permit login and uh, yes this is this, this, this one the option permit root login yes so then uh, log out and login with root again uh, from your uh, I mean uh, this one I mean uh, here I have using bitbys ss client you can use either um, bitbys or uh, use putty so now log in to your uh, WSM and uh, write on uh, search box cluster and if you write it you will see there is some options one is configuration cluster then dns cluster and remote access key so first you have to click on remote access key then you have to remote access key and uh, you have to create a key from here i mean generate new key and um, if you generate a new key then you will um, uh, copy it and uh, paste it your uh, notepad for future use i will show you why you need to copy and paste it on your uh, notepad and then uh, DNS cluster will remain same so you have you have this option next DNS cluster it will be remain same so don't you don't have to ch change anything then uh, you, you create configuration cluster and save so how can you click configuration cluster so here is the configuration cluster what you have to put your server IP I mean the IP is provided by your hosting company you have to put it here and remember that your user will be root and remote access key I tell you that you have to generate a new key here so you just uh, copy and uh, paste it to your notepad already so you just paste it here I mean this section remote access key then you are ready and uh, in a start installing the jade backup so as you are already logged in your ss as root run this command so you have to, uh, you are i am uh, assuming that you are using um, uh, i mean centos so there here is the command the centos or red hat you have clean all uh, enable repo uh, jet apps and then you have to run this command you have install repo uh, jet license dot com centos jet apps repo latest dot rpm you have installed jetapps cpanel enable repo and jetapps Th these commands i will give my video description is so that you can run it easily and uh, just copy and copy from there and just uh, paste it in your put your uh, uh, bitwise terminal uh, that's all so after clean install you will see uh, the jet backup options on your uh, i mean jet apps and jet backup options on your wsm you see already i am in here and i am sh watching that so then i will click more details and it will op uh, it will open up with a um, install option click to install then after install you see a option like uh, your domains names and uh, dix users and some uh, info like the um, uh, info will be info skin will be here uh, from list um, accounts here is some other accounts here i mean uh, options here i mean list orphan backups backup restoration backup engine so next part is will configure it with dropbox so with the backup destination if you see that on jet backup section there is a option called uh, backup destination so we will click add new destination and here is the full backup dropbox and uh, uh, engine will be backup manager and we will configure it so how uh, we configure it with dropbox and um, so first destination name will be type of dropbox choose the backup engine we will be backup manager and uh, uh, the compress will be target gz and app a app key and secret key so how can you get app key and secret key from dropbox so first you have to configure it uh, in dropbox so you have to go developers uh, dropbox.com slash developers and second click create your app then um, yeah, then configure like this i mean choose an api dropbox api and uh, choose the type of access unit app folder uh, you can choose full dropbox if you need and uh, name of the app your, your in app name like you can write it here backup 
so you just uh, then you will get a uh, after this you will get a key app key and secret key like here you just copy and paste it uh, to here and uh, then you will click save and uh, your full backup is ready so mm, and uh, create cpanel and then you will see like this your panel is created then you just create a job backup and weekly backup you just make sure weekly backup and just run it according to it so now uh, what just check your apps folder in dropbox and you will see get your backups there i mean here it will be the url here so you have to log in dropbox then home then apps then folder name the folder name you give in on app section i mean here so and uh, at last uh, you will get a host name i mean uh, the ip of your hosting of course you can may uh, i uh, keep more than one host to backup on your dropbox then you will get accounts like this and inside it uh, you will get your uh, i mean uh, backup files and all done and now take it cup of tea and please don't forget to subscribe me i am here to solve your hosting issue if you need my, my help personally then you can contact with me and my skype address is ashik 685 thank you for watching take care bye bye